You won't win the Hackaday Prize if you don't submit an entry. So today I'm going to show you just how easy that really is. I've got my browser open to Hackaday.io and I'm already logged in, but if you're not, it's really easy to register. You just put in an email address and a password and you're all set up. I want to go to this link right at the top on the right that says add a project. Pretty simple. Type your project's name here. Mine is going to be self ordering hat network. And uh, the summarize is, is going to be um, pretty important because it's going to come on the, up on the voting. So you want to get as much information in a short period as you can. Uh, I'm going to go with something like hats that identify their physical layout and perform accordingly. All right, so scrolling down the page, uh, we have a place to upload an image here. So I'm going to grab a little back of the envelope drawing that I did that gives an idea of how this is going to work. And I'm going to fill in my description. And this is where you can put a little bit more of the meat and potatoes. After you do publish your uh, project initially, there's going to be plenty of tools to fill in. But this is a good place to start. Uh, this is a set of LED marquee hats, which are able to automatically determine their order. They do so by pinging their surroundings with infrared LED and IR receiver pairs. And uh, I better do a little bit more. This network allows for collection of data and assignment of tasks based on relative location. Um, so this gives the reader a good idea of um, what the hats do and um, how they're going to do it. It doesn't have many de details beyond that, but it's got the bare minimum it needs. Uh, the project status is going to be ongoing. Uh, for the tags, I want to have this um, on the Hackaday Prize, and I've used that tag before, so my browser remembers. Um, external links, I don't have any right now, but I will be adding a video um, as part of the next tutorial series. We don't need to do that right now. And as a team, if you have other people working with you, you can add them here. You can do that later as well. For now, I'm just going to go up to the top and click this Publish button. And here is my project right here. So um, now I have the project into the interface, but I need to make sure that I submit it officially. So if you're logged in as the project creator, which will show these edit and delete project links at the top, It'll also show this button on the left right below the image that says Submit Project To. If I click on that, I get Official Hackaday Prize Entry. I'm going to load that up, and it wants me to put my name in. And I'm probably going to hide all this autocorrect stuff from you, but that's OK. Uh, the country I live in, you're going to need to select from the list here. Um, contact me, and I can put in my email address, which I will probably also hide from you on the editing. And uh, any comments? Uh, these hats look boss because they do. Um, okay, so terms and conditions. You can go ahead and read through all the terms and conditions here. And I just opened that another tab. Um, and so I've read those before. And then I am 18 years of age. Uh, I'm 18 years old or older. Um, if you're not 18, you can click this link. It gives you a place to download a form for your parents inside, and you can upload it again. So. Um, there is that option by M18, so I click on that, and I'm going to sub submit my project, and it tells me you're in. We still have five months to the end of the project, but there are a few more things that you need to do to make sure you're eligible to make the cut. I'm going to cover that in the next installment of this tutorial.